Welcome to the Game Ramble First League video for Atomic Heart. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Nervio, Mrs. Cloud. This game is developed by Mundfish and published by Focus Entertainment and Four Divinity. It's a single player first person shooter set in a mad and sublime utopian world. Cool. Love first person shooters. Yeah, this is actually a long overdue first look. Game came out earlier in this year, but yeah, there's been so many good games coming out. Fortunately, it's part of the Steam sale now, so it's at an all-time low, and it's also on Game Pass, so perfect opportunity for people to check it out. Cool. So let's take a look at the options first. Got some display options here: image shopping, Windows, VSync, FPS cap, resolution, and so on. A whole lot of quality settings. Looks like everything is on high. Let's keep it there. Audio. Gameplay, you can set language, subtitles, camera shake, strength, field of view. Okay, that's cool. And then we've got controls here, it can be played with a mouse and keyboard or a controller. You get to see there's custom bindings, inverted mouse, and you can enable or disable mouse smoothing. Okay, so without further ado, let's try out Atomic Heart. Peaceful Atom. We are pleased to welcome you on an easy sightseeing tour of Facility 3826, Comrade. Spectacular and dynamic battles of robots won't take too much effort or distract you from the narrative. Of course, you will still have to fight, but only the plot will keep you on your toes. Nice. And then we've got a local malfunction. Do you like to overcome difficulties? That's admirable. We'll leave you to it. This is no walk in the park. Some combat situations may seem difficult and objectives will require know-how, but you can always be inspired by a sense of your own superiority after completing each stage. Just try to stay more alive than dead. And then finally Armageddon. <laughs> Do you have a vivid, vivid imagination and dark thoughts? What can you do? That's just how it is. Buckle up, a real nightmare is in store. We'll need experience, reaction speed and the skills to properly manage your resources to survive. Save your bullets and always keep one in reserve. For yourself. I think I'll stick to local malfunction. For, for your now. sense of superiority. Yes, that one. <laughs> Apparently you do need to adapt your fighting style to each opponent and upgrade your equipment in this game if you want to succeed in your mission. And we're going to be facing off against mutant creatures, terrifying machines and super-powered robots that all suddenly rebelled against their creators. Cool. Okay. I really love this place. Good okay. vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Is that a talking glove? Nice, uh, touristy. Yeah. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even Maybe. go on rides Already afterwards. Getting Bioshock Infinite vibes from this game. But yeah, that's a serene start to the adventure. Interesting little back thingy. Tells me things are not gonna stay this peaceful. No, like I said earlier, the super-powered robots that rebel against their creators are probably going to be causing havoc. So enjoy the peace and tranquility for now. Two guys, the balloons. Very detailed. Yeah. Game world, I like their art directions. Very retro future. Soda. Okay. Yeah. Sure, thanks, or... Sure, thanks. You need that soda. That's refreshing. And off it goes. <laughs> Interesting. I would freak out if things suddenly buzz like in my face. Got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always <laughs> cracks <laughs> With a bicycle. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, everything is very peaceful and tranquil as far. Wow. I don't know how long this what boat ride day. is. Very strange boats too. And definitely has a unique uh, feel. I look to it here. Yeah. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do Radio to them? Bots going haywire. They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. <laughs> what are they doing? Passing a box around. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. What's that pig oh, doing? Thanks, it's still a bit big. Taking it for a walk. Okay. 
Well, it looks uh, well okay, fit. Then. Get to work, you bums. Move it. Move it. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. What is Enjoy that? The celebration. Mm. All these things flying everywhere. So very. No. Ooh, what is? It? Cyber world where bots do everything. Good yeah. morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Doctor Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect mm. nothing less. I designed the device right. myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Doctor Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full okay. schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Yeah, so we're wielding an experimental power glove, apparently. As well as an arsenal of blades and cutting edge weaponry. So many flying drone robot things. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. Eric, it sounds you a bit dickhead. Yeah, okay, looks like we have arrived. Yep. I wonder if I can sightsee along the way. I think there's something going on with all these balloons and things. That's pretty everywhere. What on earth? That is a robot with a giant eagle. Is this? Okay. Uh, it's like um, implants that you can buy on the street. Nice. This is like the opposite of cyberpunk. This is like Soviet punk. Right <laughs> them everywhere yeah they make uh, the game world feel very vast and open although I'm sure being shepherded along a very linear route here mm -hmm. yeah the scenery and detail that's for oh look at the cars so I know other cars all old uh, <laughs> yeah very cool actually not sure what era this game is set in if it's past or future it's like uh, yeah it's like a uh, Past version of the future type, not mm -hmm. what was the style that they thought it would be in the future. Very sci fi. Okay, yeah, so I can go the this people's way. clothes. And the yeah, the clothes and the car and then like the architecture. These are our robots or droids? That's good. <laughs> Definitely something happening over there. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 <laughs> isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Okay. Wow. Relaxing like a tourist here. Mm sure you can rush through all of this if you know what you're doing but uh you're just taking yeah it taking it all in I mean, looks like it's taking its time to get to the action part and i'm assuming this is where i need to be future workshop major nachai reporting for duty on comrade sechenov's direct order welcome comrade major today is a joyful occasion the birthday of Collective! Yeah, yeah, many okay. happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Yeah, that sounds very or useful. Or get a doctorate <laughs> in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? 
With Collective 2.0, you Those can. Those are creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me. Of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, like you will still need that. an initial <laughs> neuropolymer oh, sorry, injection. You <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Capsule? Ooh, that's a big capsule. I hope that doesn't have to be taken. Um... Just sort of swallow that. So... Um. Oh, okay, it gets into your hand. I okay. guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, that's wicked. It scars on you. See, this dude looks like he's been through mm. quite the ordeal. Okay. You have just yeah. upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend oh, your index thumb finger. and index finger to I'm form the a shape right of an angle <laughs> to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to activate the scanner, hold left alt. Demon, be gone. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that okay. guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. <laughs> you are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Alright, mission. What was my mission again? I don't know, follow the dot on uh, the screen. Yeah. <laughs> what on earth are you? Okay. That is such a strange design. Okay, here we go. Somewhere. All right. Uh, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Uh, Sechenov, is about to begin. Let's see. Oh, there's a parade going. Wow. Greetings, comrades. What a spectacle. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. There's a lot of Cars. people. There's going to be a robot uprising. This is going to be a... Uh, what on earth? Okay, anyway. To get on and get to the shooting box. I hope. I think I'm still on the right path. Report to the lobby of that high The lobby of this high Okay. Okay, okay it's called. Mm -hmm. Very cool Thanks estate. The robots are in charge of cleaning up everything. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access call. Be able to control the left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, that's really easy. Finally, we will be free to forget the difficult key. Look at these. Pretty pretty. I love this place. No matter really how many times a, I come here, it always sings up skirts. Just no vastness. Our elevator has arrived. The device of the future. The I like that you're not just walking down a you know, dark, dingy you corridor. Human beings yeah, I guess we're going up. A network for all mankind. Yeah. They spend a lot of time and effort on the design. The yeah. Well, clearly they're very proud of it because this is one very long uh, introductory yeah. sequence. Let's so, experience the world. <laughs> so far, it's been pretty much a walking simulator. We haven't gotten to the shooting parts yet. And I don't even know if we're going to get to it in this video at this rate. <laughs> Might have to do a follow up with the actual shooting in action. You 
not the world's fastest elevator. You can see why there's uh, comfortable chairs in there. Look through a window. Look. No, it's this weird spinny thing here that's hypnotizing. And that is it. What? I would like to check out the view. <laughs> what a the reflection. That's cool. Master quantum physics in a day. Yeah, I think we have arrived. Interesting. Okay. Set the keys is with the bodyguard. Talk about Whoa. style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. <laughs> I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Here. Here's your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. This, this is the bodyguard. Ah. Okay. Got it. Come all the way up here just for that. Waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. <laughs> we can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Wow. <laughs> what? This is uh, impressive. Okay, I guess I'm leaving then. <laughs> Going back down. What? <laughs> Could have maybe came to the door and handed me the key, but okay. Back down we go. Section off here. Uh, Sorry, I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding uh, me all so day. So we can get more narrative. What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's yeah. where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very <laughs> relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova <laughs> robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting to any shooting anytime soon. Not uh, familiar with this developer and you know, their previous work, but yeah, they definitely mm. put a lot of effort into this game. Yeah. Let's get to the car. I think it's this one. Nice. There you go. Do I get to drive it? Mm. What on earth? That'd be polymerization day. Okay. Ooh, it's a convertible. There you go. What is this now? Land on my head. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Machines always look so heavy and clunky. <laughs> You're not what gonna drive it. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna fly. I guess. Radio in here. The entire Soviet Union is, is this thing large enough to carry me in the car? Collective 2 <laughs> yeah, I just came from one. I get city. it. The American government is expressing deepening concern okay, well, about I the skyrocketing unemployment cars in. It's one way to do it. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread to concern from in the city uh, of Ozhyorsk. How about some yeah. music? That's more Yorker like doesn't it. seem to be too impressed with the view, though. Huh? What is that? These are all floating cities. Wow, okay. Definitely some Bioshock inf infinite influences at play here. Cool. <laughs> Building that we were just in. Yeah. We weren't even at the top floor, it looks like. Thing is big enough to have I see you finally begun your assignment. As and it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signals <laughs> on the Fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. 
Like our character just likes being Don't you an think ass. that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechinov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we <laughs> riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. <laughs> I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. <laughs> to what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. First thing I would want to do is to annoy a glove strapped to my hand, oh, AI. Yeah. yeah. Just get vindictive. Yeah. Start tickling you or something. <laughs> tickling, that's the worst uh, you could come up with. I'm more worried about strangulation than tickling. <laughs> okay. That glove has got weird tentacle things in it. <laughs> Easily cause harm. Okay, it's getting uh, party. Like the view previously, but now it feels like we're descending into Silent Deal or something. Oh, maybe there's something to shoot waiting for us. That would be nice. <laughs> Can assure viewers this, this is, is not a walking simulator. There is action in it somewhere. Guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Oh, is this uh, Estimated ground? time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Wow. Outside uh, temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight Earth. breeze. Yeah. I was expecting a wasteland. That's why everyone's up in the sky, but uh, it doesn't look bad down here. two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. I like all the technology in here. Very I cool. like all the detail. Yeah. Yeah. And all in. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to a hundred orders per hour. At this point it does feel a bit like a theme park ride though. Yeah, I feel like I'm a tourist somewhere. <laughs> My question of much of this is world building that ends as soon as you start shooting things or is this uh, going to be a continuous run and in game? Below <laughs> Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio cool. processing unit and control nexus for this network node. Is that a luggage? Oh, it's robots carrying a luggage. <laughs> I almost thought it was that thing from this globe, the walking luggage. We are currently solar farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. It looks good too, and I'm not even running it at the uh, full detail. Maglev train stations mm -hmm. connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II. And okay. are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. But they don't dump me into a dark and dingy Soviet lab now to shoot things at the end. Anticlimax of all this open world beauty. Kibalnikov and autonomously erected in 1951 by the collective 1.0 neural network with the help of robot builders. Note gonna land on this statue. It, the <laughs> it feels like it. Effort between man and machine. It's 
How's that character hasn't complained about them wasting his time yet? Our brief guided tour so... is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. He tells me it's all gonna go very wrong. Yep. Usually, it's a uh, utopian start. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Oh. Shit! <laughs> right here. Okay, it's gonna be a bit of a rough landing. There goes the wheel. <laughs> oh. You <laughs> rest Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Yeah. Um. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty <laughs> metal asses out of here! That was <laughs> really very rude yes, of them. Yeah, robot. Now, sure. Ooh. Okay, I guess we're gonna go Fuck down, off, up. Where are we going? Oh, perhaps she's all, not also gonna Our ascent go. is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and okay. take us by okay. air to. Son of a bitch! Not again. <laughs> um. Oh, help me, comrade major! I'm falling. What the shit? Ooh. Okay. Well, the the robot than me, all the it's just... <laughs> I don't think you can trust any robot transport right no. now. I think that was the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, definitely very impressive. I think this would make for a very cool movie too. Yeah. I want to watch this movie. <laughs> yeah. Attention. Doesn't look like a very comfortable landing we had. Our glove is awake at least. Surprised it hasn't zapped us or something yet. Mm. Very, very awful if that goes hostile as well. I no, don't even say that. <laughs> Jin playing a game with one hand that doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, on those first person shooters, you just use one hand. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the other one like pushes your gun away all the time. So. That sounds like the most annoying game ever. <laughs> yeah. <that boss>. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit, my head's killing me. Ugh. Okay, time to shoot things. Mm. Don't see a gun though, that's worrying. Things went uh, yeah. bad very rapidly. Ooh, what is that? Do I have Jedi powers? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I've got an axe. Time to chop some robots. <laughs> Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey. Are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is Pickens, the reason I refrain from he's a traitor the chickens with an axe. who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access uh, codes for the hub. Giving up the Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of Okay. Coming through. Whoa. That robot just uppercut me. Mm -hmm. Okay. That clip moving to dodge. Okay. 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 Let me help you. 
Mm. <laughs> I'll refrain from hitting the pig. Can't pet the pig either. Mm. Either. Ouch. I'm not gonna lead them, use these robots. What would they carry on them that would be of use? Huh? There's nothing in there. Electronics. <laughs> what am I gonna do with electronics? Okay, enough, enough. I was looking for it. <laughs> you said the head variables. <laughs> what on earth is this place? Trying to pick for um, holy shit. Um, hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! Uh, hey, you! Oops. I'm coming! You alive in there? See you in the outhouse. What? No. Ooh. Hiding in the toilet. Oh, okay. Shit! Uh, was get trap? away from me! No, don't throw me in the toilet. Ah, uh, I can't no, 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 a no. trap. <laughs> no. He's been doing that to other humans. Yeah, apparently. That's yeah. just wrong. Go, uh, go fuck yourself! <laughs> Here's your super glove. Oh. Oh. Thanks for the help, whoever that was. Oh. Ah. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. No, oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, No sweat, Sonny. <laughs> what are you doing Zena? here anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Fine, I get Where's it. My ex go? So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? A pitchfork? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, oh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. What is that shadow? It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Oh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Where is that? <laughs> okay. okay. Granny doesn't mince words. Get over nope. here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Beefcake, Take this what? key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, <laughs> like that. I'll hold him off for now. What? You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. But she didn't want to give me any of that. Here we go. Riding oh. for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Jesus, Granny is one well of it's impressive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her aim is better than yours. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> what is this key even doing? <laughs> That's not good. What did she get? Oh. oh. Key. Um, I hope Granny's okay. <laughs> Guess I was opening the elevator or something. Guess so, but where's the Granny now? I'm sure she's dealing with that robot gorilla <laughs> thing, whatever that was. <laughs> anyway, this is Atomic Heart. Uh, I think we're gonna stop the video here. Because, uh, yeah, quite intriguing. It's like watching a movie. <laughs> Definitely is. I'm already all caught up in it and yeah. Definitely uh game for fans of uh
games like Bioshock, Infinite, and all those very... What a goddamn clusterfuck. <laughs> very uh, story-heavy, very mm -hmm. intricate game worlds. Yeah, it looks like we are now in a dark research facility, so maybe things will become a bit more uh, action-focused and less walk around and gawk at everything. But yeah, the game promises visceral, spectacular and unforgiving combat. So there will be more to it than just hitting a few robots with an axe. We'll be getting our hands on all kinds of uh, experimental cutting-edge weaponry and so on. So yeah, this is Atomic Art. It's available now on PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox and PlayStation 4. Like I said, it's part of the Steam sale now at its lowest price yet, and it's also on Game Pass. So, right. lots of avenues to check it out if you're a fan of this genre. Cool. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy our videos. Until next time. Bye.